I'd like to display the content of my Excel workbook on a SharePoint site. I can do that in a dashboard, which we'll talk about later in this section. But the easiest way to be able to display some of my data is in a SharePoint web part, on a web part page. Remembering that many of the pages that you use in SharePoint are web part pages, this is one that I created particularly for this purpose. So it's a new web part page. I'll click Edit Page, and we have areas that I can place a web part in. Remember that if you don't like these zones, it's really too late. You should throw them away and create a web part page with the zones you do want on it before you start. But I'm going to click in the body, and in the Insert section, I'm going to choose Business Data, and there is my Excel Web Access. Click Add. I'll get an Excel Web Access web part and I'm going to click to open up the tool pane, which is also the properties dialog. I'm going to click the ellipsis to browse and go grab my workbook, which is in the documents library right here, and I'll insert it. So it's actually there. So I'm going to choose my workbook. It's in the documents library. There it is, and we will insert it. Now what I'd like to do is choose a particular named item. And it helps for me to know what the names of those items were, because when I click here, it's just asking me to type. So I actually have a chart called Employee by Department Chart. But remember, I can also have my Excel workbook open and go in and look at it. So here's my workbook, and I'd like to show this pie chart here. So I select it, click on Analyze, and it's the staffing chart. You can always double-click its name and right-click to copy it if you wish. So let's go back and insert staffing chart. And then we have lots of options, just like every other web part does. Do you want to auto-generate a title for the web part? On the toolbar, if I allow one, because I can choose not to, do I want to include the commands to open in Excel, download or download a snapshot? Commands to refresh selected connection. There aren't any connections here. I don't need that. And I also don't need to recalculate the workbook probably, although I might. Do I want a named item drop-down list for people to choose from? Not in this particular case. And all of the other choices about layout and Chrome and the title so the title here is not going to be Excel Web Access. This is actually Staffing Reports. And this is my staffing chart. I'm going to click OK. And there's my staffing chart. So what are the parts and pieces? Don't forget to name all of the items so that you can find them easily. Don't forget to publish this in a place where a user who can get to this page has permission to get to the document library in this case, and make sure that you feel comfortable working with web parts because you'll need to set the properties here just as you would in any web part. So here are the choices to open in Excel. Remember the choice to recalculate the workbook. Those were options that we had. File, download, download a snapshot, print. So these were the settings that we provided for what kind of interactivity was going to be allowed when we changed the properties of the Excel Web Access web part. I can now put other web parts on this page using the same workbook or other workbooks. If I'm going to involve a number of different data sets and workbooks, it's time for me to move to a business intelligence page, something a little more specific. But I can create a nice looking dashboard here with a number of reports and charts that I already have. Let's just do one more while we're here because once we start creating these, it's really pretty fast to continue doing so. I'm going to go ahead and click here in the Add a Web Part link. I'm going to choose Business Data. Go right back to the same workbook. Click to open the tool pane. Click to find my workbook in the Documents Library. Employee Reports. Insert it. And I'd like to allow my users the opportunity to see the pivot table that sits underneath that chart. So let's go back for just a moment. Click on the pivot table in Excel. 
Go to Analyze. The pivot table is called Employee Count by Status. Just copy it down. Let's go back. Paste our named item, Employee Count by Status. Remember that I will want to change my title so that this is going to say and I could say table in front of that if I want whatever I'd like click OK there's my employee count there's my staffing by status now I could make a few more changes and have this look even more splendid I could tighten up the zones. I could change the settings for the heights of these web parts to tighten up the space here. But this looks pretty good. So if a user wants to go in and download the workbook, they can do that. They'll be asked, do they want to open it or save it? The entire workbook is available for them because all of these were based on the entire workbook. So if someone has permissions to download, they have permissions to be able to have the entire workbook. Something to think of when you're deciding all the content that should be in this workbook. So this is how we use Excel services to be able to deliver part or all of workbooks for our colleagues in Microsoft SharePoint.